Hello everybody, my name is Megan Peltz and I'm a manager on the digital sales team. And as you can see, I am joined by some wonderful people today. So going ahead with introductions, Sarah, I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm an assistant manager of our merchandise department here over at Square. Excited to be here, excited to play games. Exciting as always, excited <laughs> as always to have you here. But then also right here in between our screens, who do we have here? Hi, I'm Erica and I'm a voice actress and I am the voice of Brone and the lovely Aftermath Traveler 2. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and as is very apparent on our screen right now, we are going to be playing Aftermath Traveler 2 today, which it's, Sarah, it's your first time playing yes. this game, right? Yes, please be nice to me. It is my first time playing. I'm gonna do my best, but bear with me. There might be some mistakes made. <laughs> we believe in you. There's no pressure because the pressure will be shared by Erica since we do have you here. So yeah. we're going to be doing some fun interview questions <laughs> while we watch Sarah navigate through this journey. So Sarah, if you want to go ahead and kick it off. Let's do it. Who pick? I, I think it's obvious. I think it's <laughs> pretty yeah. obvious. Yeah. It has to be. <laughs> Who we're going to pick. So I'll, I'll give you your money later. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was not bribed. No, no, nothing influenced this at all. No. <laughs> oh, I just want to. I'm not going to read it because there's voice acting. You know, I'd be <laughs> counterproductive here. And I'm not going to read it because I already did that. Yeah, you've so. already done that. You already part. got paid for that. <laughs> I did. Like it's a pixel rat. It's a, pixel it's rat. My best friend. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. They yeah. actually are really cute. Megan, talk to us about this game. Yeah, so Octopath Traveler 2 is a game where you choose from eight different heroes to start out with. So obviously we chose Throne, but this is also set in beautiful HD 2D graphics, which I think looks pretty cool. I oh, love yeah. that this is a way to experience some RPGs. I love it. Yeah. And the music. The oh, music yeah. is just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be getting to some questions for you, Erica, on music, but I think <laughs> we're going to just go ahead the and pressure. take it off. <laughs> there's no pressure here. We only have fun here. That's all that's okay, allowed okay. today. So. <laughs> so we're a fun bunch, as they say. <laughs> we get excited about pixel rats. I think that we are pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off then, if you guys want to. Yeah, do yeah. it. I, I mean, if you guys want me to skip cutscenes, let me know. But I feel like we shouldn't skip cutscenes. No, cut it's scenes. beautiful. You can't skip it's any of them. I was like, I don't think it's a, it's an RPG. We can't skip any cutscenes. That's right. That's like treason. Yeah, that's, that's criminal activity. So we're gonna proceed with the cutscenes. Okay. Just much. making sure. Just making sure. As we watch Throne carry the team here, this is good. <laughs> But all right, Erica, to start us off, first question for you. Mm -hmm. How did you end up being a voice actor? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I've always loved uh, cartoons and video games. And I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very relatable. Um, and I've always, like, uh, after a certain point, you kind of, like, realize that there are people doing these voices. Well, maybe not so much video games at the time when I was starting out, because this it, it's not a new thing, but like yeah. when I was, you know, first starting becoming interested in it, like video games didn't have very much voiceover, if any. So um, the more I kind of like got to know that people were doing voices for these things, the more I became interested in it. And I was always like a really shy, like introverted person. So, um, and I wanted to do, I was always interested in acting, but not going up on stage and yeah. like being in front of people. <laughs> so um, I learned about voice acting because of games and cartoons and started learning more and more about it yeah. and um, would like do projects with people online and uh, I'm from Chicago originally, so uh, which is a place where you can do voiceover. But I wanted to do like animation and video games, of course, because that's a big part of my life. So I moved out to Los Angeles eventually, and long story short, from there, um, started taking classes, and eventually got recognized by people, met more people, and was getting. Um, told about auditions and like invited to do auditions and then eventually like pretty pretty quick within me moving to Los Angeles which is kind of a, a rarity really like a lot of people take um, quite a long time yeah, to like actually build the up their career out, yeah because yeah. it's kind of it, it really is like a right place right time kind of thing so um, and I guess I was in the right place at the right time because then I started like booking things um, once they figured out I could do boy voices of all things, so uh, which I, I do love I mean, doing. That's a like, yeah. I used to like mimic um, in anime and stuff like people doing young boy voices. So um, I, I had been practicing that from since I was a teenager, and 
and that's what got me in, uh, oddly enough. That is so, incredible. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm so, I'm so glad that that's just like an avenue that was available for you too, especially yeah. just being, you know, behind the scenes of things, but mm -hmm. still contributing with so much passion and mm -hmm. dedication. Mm -hmm. I'm also, don't worry, Sarah, I'm not ignoring you. I'm watching you go through this. I saw you no, go through you're the good. <laughs> I'm learning as we're going. I'm like reading the tutorials. I'm like, ooh, skills. This is fun. We're proud of you. We're Thank proud you. of you. Thank you. But yeah, that's incredible that you made that journey from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Welcome to LA. I know well, you've been I here mean, for a bit. It's, been, still, it's, it's been, been over 10 while. years, but I feel like, yeah, this is definitely my home at this point, but yeah. Uh, still, Come someone's got to welcome you. <laughs> exactly. Someone at some point had to. So it's It'll be Megan. Later. Welcome. It? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Megan's Great the official here. welcome to LA uh, okay. committee. So I haven't fully been here yeah. until I've been welcomed by yeah, Megan. Yeah, I know. Okay, I see. That's the rule. Oh, no, you can encounter <laughs> enemies by dashing, but I want to dash everywhere. I mean, you can encounter enemies regardless. I think mm. you just get encountered by them faster. Because see the, the map turns red? Oh. That means I think you're more susceptible yeah, to oh. attacks. Oh, that makes sense. Do you know. know how to do this now, Sarah? You've learned. You went through the tutorial. I did go through the tutorial. You're right. I'm a, I'm a master now. <laughs> you have Erica here with you to support you during this. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel Emotional very, support thrown at I, 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 I feel <laughs> very supported in my choices. <laughs> Why did it default me to flee? Like, no, we gotta fight. We're here to fight. Get him. We got some courage. <laughs> <laughs> the whole team here. Oh. I'm here to fight. Let's see. It's been fun seeing like all the different skills that like each of the characters yeah. have. Yeah. There's so many options. My turn. It's just such a beautiful game too. I find myself like focusing as you're playing, Sarah, just like yeah. focusing in on different details of the characters, like yeah. how it lights up and the attacks. I mean, it's incredible. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad they started doing games like this. Like, yeah. cause they're like remaking games now too yeah. with this. And yeah, I hope they keep doing it cause it's, it's absolutely one of my favorite ways to experience games now for sure. <laughs> All right, well, moving along to question number two for you. Okay. In so the you, hot seat. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I was hoping to distract you. You're not escaping from this. We have more questions for you. <laughs> All right, Erica, you have been in a couple of Square Enix titles, but can you share how the opportunity for Throne in particular came to you? Oh, um, I mean, it's kind of the same as like every opportunity comes to me, really. I, uh, I have an agent out here who yeah, takes care of a lot of my voiceover stuff, and they happened to get the audition, and they passed it on to me. And I got a email with like a bunch of different um, uh, document files of different characters that they had available to audition for. Um, and Throne was one of them. Yeah. And when I saw her, I was like, I love her. Like, I don't know what this is <laughs> for because like, they, they codenamed well. everything. So I had no idea like yeah. that this was for the well. new Octopath game. Um, and I saw her and I was like, honestly love at first sight like she's so cool I was like I'm not this cool in real life yes you are but no yes you are Sarah back me up on this yes, yeah, you yeah. Are. <laughs> but anyway um I uh saw her and was like she's so cool like I'm never gonna like voice her like this isn't the type of character I normally voice like every once in a while like yeah. I get to voice like a kind of a cool character like her but I was like there's no way like maybe there's other characters here that I'd be better suited for but I'm gonna like give it my best shot and like you know use my big girl voice <laughs> that's what I like to call it and um next thing I knew they cast me as her and I was like oh okay well I guess they liked what I did um and it was honestly like the biggest treat to like get to play her because her story is like so we're just seeing like obviously the basics yeah, of it here we're seeing the but beginning. but it gets pretty heavy pretty fast and it just kind of like keeps going from there um so I I don't get to like I said I don't get to play characters like her very often so getting to like to to um to portray that like uh side of like my acting yeah um and like getting into the like really deep emotions and and the kind of revenge plot um that she goes through is, is really cool so no i definitely think like her character's design is very cool plus i love yeah. i love a good purple so <laughs> the best color honestly like sarah's hair it's just fantastic yeah, yeah. So i do i do it's the it's purple to pink. Back. i i'm with you i'm with you it's on that good, good. but i mean from what you're saying too it's a very different departure from doing boy voices yes to exactly. someone, exactly. to someone exactly. like throwing yeah <laughs> very different for sure Especially since it worked out. I mean, you used the big girl voice, and now here, here she is. Here she is. She's here. It's her. She's here. 
this but is I guess, your... Like, continuing on to what Megan was saying, is there something that, like, you remember the most about when you were in the studio recording for this role? Or maybe, like, a favorite Can't memory you have of, like, when you were recording? Oh, man. Um, it's hard to give specifics because, one, I don't want to obviously spoil anything, mm -hmm. and two, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I haven't played through the entire game myself. I'm working through it for sure. Um, there's just so many good games out there, so it's hard to like focus on one. But um, I have played, you know, the beginnings of the game, uh, or uh, pretty far in at this point. But I, um, I haven't quite gotten to the point where I like remember exactly all the story beats. But I do remember uh, recording and like just being so enthralled with like what was going to happen next and like. Um, what kind of like people was she going to run into yes. and like how was she going to overcome like this person on that's an obstacle in her story and and then it kind of takes like a like I don't want to call it a turn but like some stuff like happens yeah like I again I don't want to be too specific but yeah. <laughs> a, a kind of a twist happens and you just like learn way more about her as a character and and just things that kind of like start having things make more sense, I guess. It, like, I'm trying, it's hard to describe. <laughs> play the game. Oh, the game's good. <laughs> yeah, play the game. Play, play the, the game. game. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just like getting to, to go through her journey in general, I think was just a really great experience for me. And I wish I could erase my memory. And I mean, I guess I can if I just go through the game and like, because I, again, just I don't remember. Just experience it as a newcomer. Even though exactly, <laughs> yeah, without knowing. Because I usually when I play games like this that I've recorded, like, yeah. you know, obviously I know some aspects aspects of spoilers to the story. I don't know the rest of the character's stories as well, but for my for my story, it's like, obviously I'm gonna play through it. And um, I go through it and I like start to remember things and be like, oh yeah, like this happened and like then this is gonna happen and stuff like that. So I'm not like totally like uh, not knowledgeable about like what's going to, to happen at a point, but but it's still really fun to experience it and hear how everything came together. So um, honestly, that's probably the, the best experience um, from the entire thing. It's not actually the recording experience, but just seeing everything come together, I think is, is one of my favorite parts of, of doing this job and, and being able to play games as a consumer um, in addition to that. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds very rewarding. I mean, you yeah. get to be such a different and integral part of this experience. It's, it's definitely something that I think would be like really cool just in general. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you did already kind of answer like what Sarah was asking you and what we've asked you, but in voicing Throne in particular, like this so character intense. specifically, I feel like you did say that the coolest part to you was just using that like big girl voice and <laughs> having like such a cool character with this design, but was there anything else specifically that as you were voicing Throne, you were just kind of like, this is the coolest part of this? Oh, um, Matt, one of my, my favorite experiences doing games like this, like JRPGs, because JRPGs are like my favorite type of game to play. Same. Um, <laughs> just, I, I've been playing them for, gosh, since I was a kid, uh, really, just watching my cousin play these games and then sneaking. Uh, he, my cousin used to live with us, so uh, when he was like out of the house, I would like sneak his copies of like Final Fantasy VIII um, which is my first Final Fantasy game. And, cause I would watch him play it, but then yeah. like I'd wanna know what was going on or like to play it myself. So I would, I, I would sneak it when he was at home and like play it myself. And that, that was my introduction to, I, somewhat, I think maybe like Square Enix games Square in, in general. general. Yeah. Final Fantasy VIII. Um, uh, that or maybe yeah. Chrono, Chrono Trigger, I don't know. Um, but uh, definitely like when I started like realizing what games those JRPGs were is definitely Final Fantasy VIII. Um, but uh, just, I forgot where it was going. <laughs> well, you're good. I feel like now but, I'm just being um, nosy. Like, like, uh, I want to ask if he ever my story. Um, uh, maybe. He probably did, actually. Um, but obviously I didn't get that much in trouble because, you know. So I think he like maybe hit his PlayStation at a point after that. But, <laughs> but um, gosh, I really forgot where I was going with this. But uh, just just getting to um, to to play these types of characters um, yeah. and like experience uh, their stories and, oh, this is what I was gonna say. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> all right, all right. I was gonna say one of my favorite parts of just recording these types of games in general is obviously the battle lines. The battle lines are really cool and Thorny has a lot of really cool one-off lines. 
Uh, like one of my favorites is uh, I take what I want, <gasps> like and stuff like that. Yeah. So she says stuff like that, and like, and so it goes, and like, she's so cool. Like, I just, <laughs> I just can't believe how cool she is. And uh, she like, you can steal things from yep. people. You're yeah, yeah. Sarah's I, I was been trying. Stealing I was like, the whole time. steal. It's so funny because like. Um, you get other characters that have abilities too, obviously, they each have yeah. their own abilities. And some of them have like nice. things that are kind of similar, but they're like, because her thing is you steal people from people. Um, and then you've got another character who can like buy things off of people. And I'm like, once I got that, because obviously I played Throne Night first, yeah. I was like, once I got the, you can buy um, people ability, or buy, buy people, buy people's <laughs> things from them, uh, from Particio, one of the other characters. I was like, why would I do that? Like, I'm just going to steal Yeah, why everything. wouldn't you just take it? <laughs> I mean, like, I guess this the, is the best already. <laughs> I don't need to pay for that. <laughs> exactly. I guess the perk is that, like, because you you can ruin your reputation in the towns oh. if you steal unsuccessful or you unsuccessfully, oh. um, you you don't steal something obviously. So there's a percentage. I don't know if you were watching Megan. There's a percentage yeah. of uh, chance that you can steal things from people, and I'll usually go for like 80% or higher, and 80% like obviously has a chance of failing. So sometimes I will fail, but most of the time I don't. But um, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to pay like, you know, 20,000 leaves for no. this. I'm just going to steal it. It's an 80% chance. Why would I not? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so she says like some cool things when she steals from people. like uh, Or like you can ambush people at night as well. And she just is like. I did see Sarah doing that. Yeah. I, I saw you, Sarah. Yeah, yeah well, so the, the, game, the game was like, you can't go that way. You have to ambush them. Yeah. And then it was like 99. And I was like, ooh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it is nighttime in the game, so you know. You gotta get through, to get through some time. of those doors. That you, like, you can ambush that guy and like take the, if there's like a treasure in the room you or something like that. You can ambush him. Yeah. Sarah, do it. You're gonna ambush get him. him. How? How? Get him. No way, I have no, no you gotta hit. Uh, I got it. There it is. Oh, yeah, I can get ambush him. him. Get, get him. him. We're just encouraging. Cool. She's just as cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cool. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I got it. Congratulations, Sarah. But I got it. I'm so happy. Look at Treasure. Like, and I are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just backseat me. It's a good fine. one, too, yeah. <coughs> oh, a dagger. <coughs> so I guess Ooh. we can go into our menu then. If I can figure out. Yeah. So, in theory, then she could she could ambush all these people, but she probably should. She could, but you know, I mean, you know, I don't think it actually ruins your reputation, <laughs> <laughs> oddly enough. Um, the dagger is better. I guess I've never done it when people are around, though, so uh. maybe that does something. But um, I try to only ambush people that are in front of things so I can get into Stop doors ambushing and people. stuff. Okay, oh, we're no. not ambushing. Okay, well. <laughs> I can't ambush this lady. You could. No, yeah. I can't. You, can't you can't talk to her, so you can't. I can't yeah. ambush this lady. lady. <laughs> but it's like, why would you? Unless you want to just see them on the floor, I guess. <laughs> it's like, why would we're you We're just going that? wild with this. We're having so much I mean, fun with this ambush ability. the entire town. But I mean, it is at this so point, cool. You're right. Ambush these guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna run around and just cause chaos and ambush everyone. <laughs> we'll go to the game parlor, see if there's some doors to break into. No, you're just continuing the story now. Oh, oops. <laughs> Look, he ambushed me. Oh my oh, gosh. You got ambushed for ambushing too much. Yeah. Ooh, they're on to me now. Yes, my huge. Just yes. like he's throwing it. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this my dad? Like this dad. guy like it's is giving me father, father vibes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not actually he's my giving dad. father. He's giving father. <laughs> he he's like my stepdad. Yeah, there's he's like my some obvious adopted. tension yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, I'm reading some tension. You're, you're correct. It's, uh, yeah. she's, uh, the story is kind of messed up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Like, I, I was very, it's a very one to start with. Yeah. yeah. For sure. It's like some of the characters have like lighter stories, but uh, I don't know. I just like a good, like, Dramatic, you know, moment. I feel like um, she's and very she has dramatic. a lot of them. She has a lot yeah. of them for sure. So you've played through other characters, other Rabs and Octopath Traveler too. You said yes. you started some of them. So who did yeah. you choose after Throne? Oh, uh, I just kind of like went with whoever was closer. So I think, <laughs> well, there's a few that are kind of on the same continent. Sure. Um, yeah. It was kind of like whatever was the easiest to find. <laughs> so I think Oswald was the next one for me. Mm -hmm. And his story is kind of dramatic too. Um, again, don't want to give things away because no. there's a lot of stuff to give it's away good stuff, in yeah. his first chapter alone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've pretty much, I've, I've picked up everybody at this point just because I wanted to which be able to and like see which kind of characters gel with my party the best. Um, uh, I think right now my party is <laughs> the first four people I picked up, <laughs> actually, because <laughs> um, I just uh, I was playing with them and I was like, I kind of like this combo. So maybe things will change the more I uh, get into the stories. But um, yeah, so Thorne, uh, yeah, 
Oswald. Yeah. Um, who else was it? Uh, Particio and Agnea, I think. Yeah, Agnea. But uh, I might, I might just switch it up at some point. But right now, I, I kind of like like all their abilities um, and like going through town and and uh, and seeing what I can, what chaos I can cause yeah, right. when I'm playing. So, Mischief. Yeah. <laughs> And you can definitely. I mean, when you have a good mix too, why mess with it? If you have something yeah. that's good for your party in this, Aww, especially in the I can't DLC, ambush this so guy. Good. Oh, I can't no, ambush that, actually. Is it cause it, oh. oh, you gotta be level five, Sarah. Yeah, you're, you're in over your head. Oh. Wait until mother comes. I can't <laughs> imagine that there isn't like instances where some characters' abilities probably work out better um, oh, for know. certain scenarios and yeah. stuff like that, like certain things you need to do. So. Obviously, like in their own stories, you have to like use their abilities um, to get mm -hmm. through to certain parts, but and like interact with certain characters. So, um, yeah, I don't I like this guy. Oh, but I'm like super oh. strong, yeah. But I'm stronger. But yeah, I do 48 to ambush him. You do. Yeah, when I saw that pop up on the screen, I'm like Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> That's <laughs> like late like game stuff. I'm, I'm getting a little too crazy. Okay, well. Sarah has the ambition. She has the ambition and the drive. You guys are gonna wait for mom. Gotta, <laughs> gotta remember to come back. Ooh. I see my adorable the, the environments are so cool. Let us the begin rooms and the it's so gorgeous. Uh -huh. I know that we she have just been looking ordinary. at all the detail going on in the background. I'm so I miss the rats. <laughs> I do miss the pixel rats. I miss the pixel rats for sure. <laughs> Maybe they'll come back one day. Maybe someday. Maybe <laughs> you can always play it again and again. We will just always that have beginning the pixel rats. Five seconds of Thorne's <laughs> story, her first chapter. Throne. Just to see the rats. Yeah, the lighting is like Would gorgeous in this game too. Oh no, I'm set. being summoned. You, you can tell who's important in this scene. Cause yeah. Of the lighting. yeah. <laughs> A lot of stuff happening. Ah. I failed. Oh no, I didn't think I failed. <laughs> but apparently I, I did failed. everything perfectly. Which is fine. Right? Yeah. We oh, ambushed yeah. someone successfully. I'm like the first two years. Yeah, right. I, I got That's a new dagger. <laughs> Uh -oh. I like how we're all just like waiting. Like no. I know, it's like, <gasps> <gasps> like, it's my punishment. <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh. I don't like it here. I know, this is scary. You Children, look mine. away. Right? <laughs> oh. oh. See? Yeah, you weren't kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> real dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gets pretty dark. <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's what's cool. Like, I love stuff like that where I get to like really kind of stretch the boundaries of. of just my acting abilities, really. Because um, sometimes, you know, you work on stuff and it's like, it's pretty basic, you know, you, you talk and and yeah. the character doesn't really go through too much, um, <laughs> but it's still fun, you know? Like, I really love my job, but, you know, there, characters like this, I think, are, are really just a treat to be able to play um, where the story is just written so well and the characters are really fleshed out and you get to really play, like, you get to really act and it's, it's nice, it's a nice feeling, so. Yeah, you know, it's like even even working on this, just knowing like we can come in and watch this, and all of us have, have that tension watching yeah. Sarah oh watching gosh. you go through this, and we're like, mm -hmm. <gasps> so yeah, it's good in stuff. Oh father. yeah, no, and that's definitely got to be like nice too to just play through oh, the death you as you're playing yourself. So yeah, things were just getting things were just getting good. <laughs> now she's like, okay, <laughs> I'm done whipping you kids, and then they're like, don't. Don't stop! <laughs> I'm like, whoa, okay. All the other people are like, hey, yeah, they're they're, they're getting punished and not us. So. Yeah. I expect all of you to take. Oh, Ooh, spicy! Oh, no, the drama, <laughs> the drama. Oh, it gets crazier. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> the first chapter alone like sets up so much. I mean, all their first chapters really do, honestly. Um, but yeah. I feel hooked. Like I feel it's like they're hooking me in. Yeah, yeah. That's how they do it. You're hooking us, Erica. You're yeah, hooking I, us. They're getting, the they're getting me. Uh, <laughs> I try. That's part of my job, you know. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, yeah. Just even this outdoor lighting, like the clouds moving my by. Just yeah. I spent and like the blurring in the background. <laughs> like it's really cool. I so feel sad. I don't know what I pain know. is. <laughs> I, I just, just yeah. I feel like we should almost switch gears a little bit. Bring the bring the happiness bring the back. Happiness <laughs> back. <laughs> back. <laughs> we got into this. It's so, so deep. <laughs> but that's so good. It's just it's as Erica was saying, like it's such a. I'm sure it was just so nice to like have such a strong character to perform as. Yeah. 
puppy. I feel like I mean, it's a, a puppy. A puppy just a, brightened the mood. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a departure from like the typical characters. Your voice as well. Like this is yeah. very like 180. <laughs> yeah, it's I like I said I don't get to play too many characters like her, so this is definitely a trait. Because um, I'm kind of more into like the the like moody stuff, you know, like yeah. the the dramatic like stuff that'll make you cry, stuff that'll make you gasp, you know, stuff like that. So not that the other stuff isn't fun, yeah. But I don't know. I like this is the media I like to consume. Mm -hmm. So um, getting to be in that media and perform characters like this is, is you breakfast. probably the favorite, the best part of my job. I think when I get to play characters like that. No. Yeah. We appreciate you for it. We really do. <laughs> <laughs> We're like an odd silence already. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, we can't like look away. It's also no. just the beauty of this game, though. Again, is that you, the, the puppy, the, the puppy, <laughs> the rat. Bring back the rat. <laughs> puppy rat content. <laughs> All right, well, like I was saying, we're going to continue <laughs> right along with these questions. We will just transition into this one, which is, what is your favorite Square Enix brand or game? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I told hard, you this hard, is a transition. That's a hard question, but also a very easy question. <laughs> um, I, you know, again, Final Fantasy, I think, was my big introduction into, like, fully knowing what Square Enix games were. Um, and, you know, Final Fantasy VIII was my first Final Fantasy, so it's definitely very high on my list of just favorite games in general, but I am a pretty avid player of Final Fantasy XIV, yeah. um, and it's it's getting up there for me, like honestly, like solo gameplay wise, like eight is still like really high up there, but um, getting to like immerse yourself in a world with other people. Uh, I had never like been really deep into MMOs before, yeah. but 14 was like my first like big foray mm -hmm. into it because I, I was playing since a Realm of Rome beta, um, <laughs> honestly, and I remade my character like every week when they'd like wipe everything. So I've been playing that game for on and off for like 10, over 10 years, I think yeah. at this point. Yeah. Well, longer than you've been in so LA even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty. <laughs> well, no, um, no, actually, I think I was, I started a Realm of Rome beta, I think, was when I first moved to LA. Wow. Actually, yeah, yeah. Just I've been here over ten years. It just celebrated its tenth anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. it did. Yeah. But so yeah. what I'm hearing is we need to get Ben Starr and Erica <laughs> in yeah. a stream together <laughs> and just talk about FF8. Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, we really do. <laughs> we'll both wear our eight shirts, and yeah. it'll be great. It'll uh, be a fun time for all. Would be a fun time. That would be great. That would be great. Oh my gosh. She has, I mean, he's been it. over in the States a lot, it seems like. He's like, he's popping off over here, which is great. Like, uh, he was so great in 16, so I'm very happy for him. I, I like how we have this discussion during Aww. Octopath Traveler 2. Shout exactly. out to Clive. I mean, That's right. hey, I'm keeping it on brand. Yeah. It's within the company. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just, we appreciate uh, Square Games here. <laughs> just bring, um, I was going to call him Clive. Uh, bring, <laughs> bring Ben here to just voice over all the characters. It'll be great. He actually likes this game. I, mm. I, I Before 16 actually came out, I remember him tweeting at me. And he um, was he was like, I really loved you as Throne A. And I was like, oh, I love you. Sweet. You're my new favorite person. <laughs> the friendship's already there. Exactly. The stage is set. Exactly. <laughs> So yeah, he's. Uh, I've, I've seen in interviews like he's a, a pretty big fan of this game. So um, that made me really happy um, that he played my game and now I played his game. Yeah. And he was great in it, and everybody was great in that game. And Comes full circle. Exactly. This is helping us. This is a wholesome <laughs> in contrast to what Throne is going through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it light, man. Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep it fun. I promised exactly. fun on this, and we're having fun. <laughs> Oh, can I, can I attack best. you? Are you ambushing people in the daytime, I mean, Sarah? Can I, I guess I can't. I, it's kind of like... No, it's the different skills for day and night. Oh. So ambushing is only at night. You can actually swap the day and night cycle, cy oh. cycles. Cycles. <laughs> uh, I, I play on a uh, different console, so I'm not sure what it is. It's a trigger button on the console I play on. So. Ooh. No, it's other trigger buttons. You put, press the other one, the other button. I hitting all, button. I'm hitting all the buttons. Hit all the buttons, Sarah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What Maybe it I can't be. do it yet. Maybe, Maybe I'm too like in the I tutorial. Don't, I don't know because I just kind of randomly did it at some yeah. point. So I don't know. But anyway, you can switch day and night cycles uh, manually, and that kind of like I feel like that's cheating in a way. But at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, you can do no that to kind of Sarah. Oh, yeah, here you, you can kind of see all the characters here. Oh, I've here. never seen this menu, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my jur that's the journal. I don't, I've never looked in there. <laughs> I don't need to be there. Why would I need to be there? I just need to ambush people. 
Uh, I mean, not wrong. Look at that beautiful art. I hear you. Let's let's <laughs> admire the look art. Look at it. Wow. But yeah, it tells you in the status too for her, like what you can do in the day and what you can do at night. Oh, so. during the day you steal. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so you could you're steal not wrong. From people. If you steal during the day, your reputation in town does suffer. It does. But you can just ambush everyone at night and it's fine. Yeah. As long as you're of level. Yeah. That's a pretty evil that. thing. Yeah. So yeah. just at nighttime, just go, you know, go for it. Sarah. I guess I was supposed to go back to the game part <laughs> where mom and dad are. I don't, I don't know if I want to be here. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think Throne wants to be here either. I, yeah, I don't think any of us wants to be here. <laughs> what is it? Oh, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we meet mother and father, it's just, it's tension. It's tense. That's it, right? <laughs> it's going to keep being that way. Oh, for no. <laughs> Spoilers. <but> not the, <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not good people. <laughs> no. Mom, Dad, why? Yeah. <laughs> what are my orders? Betrayal. Wow. What are my orders? I mean, that just hits you so heavy. It does, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, you, it really, like, drives home that she's just not, she like, a person awesome. to them. Yeah. She's a tool to be used. <laughs> oh, she's so just sad. a cog in the machine. She is. Oh, so sad. She's, she's the best cog in the machine. You know what? She's a pixel <laughs> rat in a cage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. bring it back to the rats. It, it comes full circle. I'm gonna keep doing that. We we love them so much. We love the rats. <laughs> <sighs> well, bringing it back to questions. This is so difficult. This one is difficult for me because we gotta. We've got to break through these emotions and continue <laughs> on with this interview, Erica. We can do this. But can you name three things that you think are great about this game in particular? Oh, I feel like I've been talking not about that the entire part. time. Like, how can you not, like, find just, you know, I, I mean, I haven't found a thing that I dislike about this game, actually. Um, That's always good news. You know? <laughs> uh, the characters have all been really great. Uh, like I said, I've, I've met all the characters at this point in my playthrough, and they're all really fun. Um, so great, great character design, great character development. Um, the environments look amazing. Like just everything about the design of this game um, is just so nice. And again, like I would love so many games to be remade in this style, or like even just you know, just keep making new IPs in this style. And I would play every single one of them. And I think I have at this point, <laughs> like <laughs> because they just even games that I'd never played before. Um, that, that just come out in this style. I'm always like, ooh, this, that looks really cool. Now I can steal. Oh, you're, you're stealing some steal. brothel girl clothing. I gotta steal some brothel girl clothing. <laughs> Sarah's very excited to steal things. <laughs> I gotta find the right brothel girl. I mean, I know the brothel right. girls were in here. I don't here. think that's the brothel girl. Maybe. Well, they were in there. Yeah. I'm like, don't, you, you can't I'm steal like, from the children. I mean, you can't steal from the children. Steal from the children. I can, um, but I don't think they're wearing brothel girl clothing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Uh, gosh, uh, another thing, the third thing though from this game yes. is that I really is to bring it back to the question. <laughs> to bring um, it back to the I'm question. trying to focus, it's really hard. <laughs> oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, the game, it's not even you guys, it's like I could just like stare at this game and be distracted. This is a Where are the one. brothel yeah. women? They might be in that play. You might just want to ambush the guy because they mean, might be in there. I, can, I, I don't remember. Like, I didn't. It maybe was so I just early so on. I I love the music in this game. The game is yeah. fantastic soundtrack. Like um, oh, it's just it yeah, definitely gross. up there. Oh, is that? Oh yeah, because she's got a green little thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Too early. Um, Give me your chorus. Yeah. Oh, the music, okay. Though. The music, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's now fantastic. Okay, I stole Like, definitely one of my favorite sound. I haven't bought the sound. I need to buy the soundtrack. <laughs> um, but, like, it's so hard because, like, nothing I own has, like, a CD drive anymore. I guess my... Oh, no. My, oh, my friend does, ran into the same problem. I, they don't yeah. make computers with them, like, well, built like, in anymore. Well, like, her car doesn't have it. Her computer yeah. doesn't have yeah. it. She was like, how am I supposed to listen to CDs? So she actually bought the CD, mm -hmm. gave it to my roommate, who still has a CD drive in her car, and is like, so now if I'm ever in your car, we have to we listen, have listen to the CD. Yeah. And only the CD. I don't care that you have Spotify. No, no, no. <laughs> We're listening to this one CD. But the funny part is sometimes my roommate's too lazy to connect her Bluetooth device. So she listens to the CD. Oh. <laughs> and it's quite hilarious. That's funny. 
because it's the opposite of her normal music taste. Well, so there's make a it solution for you, Erica. If you just find a friend, like find you know Sarah's roommate and just play the CD. You gotta I mean, make I friends with your roommate. You can be friends with me. Okay. I mean, we're already <laughs> friends. Yeah. I was like, wait, we're not friends. <laughs> no, we're friends. We're friends. Uh, you can just come to my house. You know, I have a CD drive in my car. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I have a CD drive in the Subaru. So okay, just you okay. know, yeah, yeah. after okay. this, you after can, this, you can maybe hang out in your car. Yeah. Maybe you can be friends with Megan, but you can be my friend. We gotta get our hands maybe. on the soundtrack first, though. <laughs> oh, I have one. Oh, I'm unfriended. Don't don't, oh. don't underestimate oh. me. I have a copy of every soundtrack. Oh. <laughs> it's a perk of the merchandise Ooh. team. We have archives of all our music. How do I sign up? I want right. that. You have to be my friend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean wait a minute. again, like <laughs> it, it's been ten years. I mean. <laughs> Just for the record, <laughs> just for the record, we are all friends here. We can all share these things. That's true. Because I do have those beautiful, shout out to the merch team, I do have those beautiful vinyls. Yeah. So. We, I got a vinyl player too. Come on. I, over. yeah. Uh, I mean, going back to me loving Final Fantasy XIV, I've got the first set of vinyls yes. for that because we've got a vinyl so player cool. and I have so many video game soundtracks. And Damn. I definitely oh, pre-ordered so the new ones because, yeah. Oh, I yeah. need to. I still need to do that. Good reminder. There you go. Yeah. Right in front of Sarah, too. Yeah, wow. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right in front of my merchandise the enabler. person. <laughs> I am the yeah, enabler. You got, thank you. you got sales here. You got both. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> no pressure. Exactly. No. I would never, unless it was gifted. <laughs> and, and wink, wink. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> they need to make vinyls of this game soundtrack, though. And yes. I strongly agree because that would be way easier. Like hint, hint, Japan. They did. I thought did they, they. We. I think we did do a vinyl for the first game. But the second. I want the not the second. I mean, yet. I would also probably buy the first game yeah. soundtrack because that the songs in that are also amazing. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. I'll fact check myself, but we should. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a vinyl. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just I like multitask I will give you money here. right now. Okay. If you like on stream. On stream. <laughs> okay. You <laughs> pull out your credit card. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me fact check myself, but I'm pretty sure there's a vinyl for the first one. But that's I want the second one. But what's the second one? I need to listen to uh, Throne's theme in like beautiful yes. vinyl quality. Um, but <laughs> I, I'll pretty much buy like oh, any game that I play's vinyl soundtrack if they have one. Oh, I got distracted. Um, Oopsies. <laughs> it was like you gotta play the game. I know. Ooh. I was watching Sarah sneak in as in the brothel clothing, and then now you've got this little lantern. Ooh. I know they they uh, that was part of the merch line. They sold the lanterns because I I look at all the merch um, from Game Center Men, and I. I think I bought a few things, I don't remember. When I was in Japan, they actually did the Good night. Um, Octopath Traveler 2 collab. Oh, yeah. oh I remember that. I went to that. I went to that too. I, yeah, I got to have thrown a drink, and it was a blueberry drink, and it was great. I was so happy. Like It was Aww. like the highlight of my career. Was it like, that's me. Your drone drink. I was like, that's me. I'm, I'm drinking my drink. Oh, um, oh. And then got like a few little blind... Uh, they had like a little buttons in the little blind bags. Yeah. I didn't get Throne, but uh, no, I did get a keychain of her though that they didn't have in a blind bag, which is Man. great because that makes it so much easier for me to not spend as much money. Um, <laughs> not that you know things are as expensive in Japan as they are over here, what but to do? Um, yeah, I, I bought as much merch as I could um, of this game and and a lot of different things that I'm in in uh, Japan. So. That must be such a great feeling. You're just like, that's me, and oh, this yeah. is me, and that's also me. It was <laughs> very fun. I leveled up. Yay! We're getting closer to being able to uh, yeah, ambush that ambush one guy. guy. The 48 guy? No, not the 48 guy. <laughs> we're, we're a ways <laughs> off from him. Well, for being Dang. positive, Sarah, I, I you are closer him. to 48. I mean, I did <laughs> ambush this guy. You I'm did. proud of you. Look Thanks. at that. Look at them little sleepy stars. I know. He's I taking a nap. Just circling him. <laughs> It's nap time. You're gonna get those sleepy stars if you keep circling them. Wee! <laughs> oh no. Wee. The oh, screen is shaking. Oh. Get it. It's a special one. Ooh. Yeah, the lanterns. They were selling the lanterns some money. at a point. Yeah. Um, I should have gotten one, uh, and I didn't. But oh, no. one day, if I see it, if I ever go back to Japan and see I see that wild. they have them, yeah, I'll probably buy it because they are really cute. What to do? Um, when they run around at night or when it's like. There's no light inside. They they run around these little lanterns and they're so cute. It's just such a cute little detail. And it looks so good. Yeah. Like just seeing the shadows and yeah. everything. Right. It really it really <laughs> helps show off the technology for sure. Can I gotta do what you can. Oh, you're stealing. No. Oh, oh, my whoa. percentage. Like, you gotta mm -hmm. damage him more. The the, the oh. lower health they have, the easier it is to steal. Oh. 
Oh, so. yeah. And you can you can see. I don't know yeah. if you you notice, but you can see like kind of where their health is if you like click on them and their name is in a certain color. So now he's oh. red. He's vulnerable. Yeah. He's vulnerable. So now. he's close to dying. I don't know like what percentage they start changing colors at, but yeah. um, that just basically means he's close to dying. So it's that. like white, yellow, and then red. Oh. Yeah. Well, now he's gone. <laughs> You see, this is exactly why Erica is here to guide oh, us no. as girls. <laughs> guiding I need you to through heal. This. Yeah, you might want to heal. What a healing grace. Yeah. Not He's good. a little tired. <laughs> I mean, the guy did do a bunch of damage. Maybe. And yeah. I'm by myself. Well, yeah. you're not also not buying, like, gear. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Uh, you I, probably had a point, yeah. The, the game didn't tell me, so okay. I don't think I fully, well, like, realized. How many oh, JRPGs have you played in your That's life? a great question. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning this interview over to you now, Sarah. Um, <laughs> I'm not the famous one. <laughs> That's not. Wait a minute. I'm not famous. That has here. nothing to do with ability to play JRPGs. Or does it? Oh. <laughs> so depends on who you ask. <laughs> Look, I leveled up. I can go like You're level five now. Yeah, I can go assault that one guy. Yay! I think your health and your um, ability points also reset. Yes. When you're when yeah, I noticed level, the so. health like resets when you level up. That's, that's a good way to get your health back if you can manage it without dying, um, I, which I, I have definitely done before um, yeah, and not done before. So <laughs> you got me into some trouble Ooh, in this game. Trying to get more treasure. Look at that fire! Wow! And the mirror shine bright. Wow! Yeah. The details, so the no detailing in and like Whoa. the background is just so nice. It's so good. Okay. Let's see if I got any equipment that I can. You want to question? Yeah. I do have more questions for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm like fired up now. Yeah, you're ready now. You're just like, Megan, hit me with those questions. Give me those Megan, questions. I'm ready with the questions. Born ready. I'm always born ready for questions. I love questions. Heck yeah. But all right, I will bring it back to questions. So the soundtrack for Octopath Traveler games is especially beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know we've talked about oh, this. Yeah. We were just talking about how you love it. Do you have a favorite song in particular? Um, you wanted a question, Eric? I, yeah, I actually had to like go through the soundtrack because I didn't remember. I, I didn't know the names of a lot of the tracks because yeah. um, I, I started playing this game a little while back, um, but the soundtrack wasn't something I looked into more than just like kind of like putting it on and then just kind of letting it go. So I didn't know any of the track names until recently, and I'm actually doing my research. Um, but a lot of them are, are really good. Um, a lot of the character names are, are great. Uh, Ferone is just like, because uh, you, you, when the trailers came out for these characters and they were introducing them, yeah. you got to hear like all of their themes and Ferone is just like really cool and it's like, it really fits her, her design and like her story and stuff like that. So it's like really serious and like dark and, and dramatic and, and um, so Ferone's theme is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I think one of the ones I really like listening to when I'm just kind of like walking around in the game or just like need something to put on in the car. Um, <laughs> I really like the um, Leaflands day Ooh, theme. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, a lot of the environmental themes are just great, but Leaflands I think particularly stands out for me. And then when I was going through Particio's story, there's a song that plays, I think it's called Solote. There's a song that plays like near the middle-ish um, part of his story when he's like, uh, outside of his house on the cliffside talking to a particular character. Um, again, trying not to be too specific <laughs> yeah. so that I don't give yeah. away spoilers. But they have this little conversation outside um, just as this character is about to leave town. And the song that plays is just like this nice little like guitar melody. And it's just, it's it like picks up at a point and then like kind of like dips down and is a little more quiet. And, and it's just, it's such a beautiful guitar track. Um, so. Was there so it's like a peaceful ambiance, it almost sounds like. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, um, but it like lends itself to like what's going on in that moment yeah. and adds like a little dramatic flair to it, but also like kind of like an undertone just to what's going on. So it's, Let's the play. music is just, you know, really tells the story very well, Ready? I think, in this game. No, it's in it's particular. Yeah. 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 yeah, I learned how to heal myself. Nice. <laughs> So proud of you, you know, I didn't realize that it was like I could only get one skill, but that's okay. I'm glad that I got the healing skill. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, that HP drain one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that one. <gasps> one experience point away from a level up. Oh, no, that's the worst. The worst. 
yeah, and as you get more characters, they each, yeah. again, have their own abilities. So, like, eventually you'll get people that have other healing abilities or that are just plain healers, you know? Um, Temenos is the cleric of this game, so once you get him, he's got Ooh, a few healing Okay, here you go. I can buy stuff oh. now. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do that. So Erica, let me ask you, have you played the original Octopath Traveler, or was Octopath Traveler 2 your first one? I played a little bit of the first one, yeah, because um, I'm actually in the first one as well, <laughs> yeah. um, as a very, as a, more of a minor character, but yeah. I'm part of uh, Ophelia's story, oh. um, the cleric of that game, yes. so uh, I'm her best friend that I think is only in the first chapter or two um, before she leaves town, but uh, the character's name is Liana, I believe, so um, yeah, so that was the uh, Kind of my uh, your intro to Octopath. My intro to Octopath, <laughs> yeah. My my incentive to play it was like that's usually my incentive to play a lot of games. Is like, am I in it? it? <laughs> okay, cool. Let me hear what I did, or is my friend in it? Uh, yeah, let me play that game so I can hear my friend's work. So just to see how it turned out. But um, but yeah, I, I I have played a little bit. I didn't finish that one um, <laughs> before diving into this one. But um, yeah, I I did have fun with what I did play of it. Although it's this kind of the same, like, it was a good base for, like, this IP, mm -hmm. I think. And it kind of, everything kind of carries over as far as, like, you know, obviously it looks beautiful. Um, and the characters are great. And the music is great. So a lot of the, like, big core things that I already mentioned <laughs> about this game. But this game, I think, just, like, heavily improves on everything. Um, which is really always a great thing to see in video games. Um, especially when it's a new IP altogether. Like, just to see them take a already great yes. game and improve it like tenfold. Like, oh, just great. make it stunningly Wait. perfected. Uh oh. Wait, what? Are Wait. you getting into I some drama? I got into some drama. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, but I think, yeah, it just got spicy. We just got into some drama. Like, uh oh. Uh -oh. Is, is, he, is he changing sides? <gasps> There was never a trailer to begin <laughs> Sarah with. Sarah and I are like, <gasps> guys, I'm invested. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Erica's like, just buckle up. <laughs> it's it's a wild ride. Uh, She's like shocked, and yeah. I'm shocked. Well, I mean, like when your best friend is like, hey, guess what? I want to be the one, not you. So yeah. I set all this stuff up. I killed this guy one of our friends that we've been yeah. with for a while and was so kind of helping us get through this. What we just learned is like, basically the parents were like, oh, this is this person's a traitor and then told somebody else, no, it's yeah. this person. So it was a triangle mm -hmm. so that they would kill each other. Yep. Traitor triangle. To see yeah. who's the strongest, yeah. Yeah. It's That's the kind game. of parents we have. Yep, game. we were supposed to kill each other of off until only the best of us survived. That's ooh. Best, ooh. It's drama. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> This is spicy. I think great characters start off with. Yeah. Everyone yeah. should start off with through an A. <laughs> just get the drama out of the way and like <laughs> try to, to use some of the other yeah, characters. Maybe not Oswald. Don't use him as a breather. Um, <laughs> he's pretty dramatic too. But uh, like uh, Agnia. Agnia's story is really bright and fun. Um, and who else? God, Purchase was pretty, pretty happy. Um, he's got some drama too, though. I, I think a lot of them have their own like little dramas, but yeah. I would say so far from what I've played, uh, obviously Throne Age is very dramatic, um, and Oswald. Is, I want to fight him. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, yeah. she doesn't want to fight you him. You don't. I know. He just said. Yeah, one of them has to survive, no. and she's like, I don't want to fight you. We're friends. Look, he big. Whoa, oh, wow. he's wow, wow, interesting. <laughs> he's tall. But I think, I think that just shows how good the writing is in the game, right? Mm -hmm. Where like all the characters have like this like, I don't wanna say drama to them, but you know, like that, that well executed story. Yeah, it's like development within there. Yeah. It's like a story. Oh, he's hesitating, okay. Hmm, this makes it so difficult to just get focus and ask you these questions yeah. because I'm so invested in like, the performance and this character. Well, now you just, just gotta play it yourself. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie, you're just gonna have to go home tonight and start playing. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Sorry, though. Sorry, not sorry that I've done this to you. <laughs> this game. Erica. <laughs> I think everybody should play this game, yeah, honestly. Do. It's so good. He's vulnerable. 
Can you steal from him? I mean, he did betray you. I mean, I need to heal. So let me, let me. I think you need to attack him more first. Mm. Yeah. You're gonna steal from He's only at 20 He betrayed you, Sarah. That's actually, man, you're so smart to actually uh, get that healing ability, because I don't think I had that when I fought him, and I definitely died once or twice. Um, trying to, because I, I'm not, Octopaths, their um, boost system is a little, uh, still a little new for me yeah um, and I, it was so long ago that i had played the first game yeah that i totally forgot how it all worked and, and all that so i definitely have died a few times but i'm also just bad at games so uh <laughs> i like playing them but i'm not great at them relatable <laughs> there's no shame in that oh no he's like i had to kill you it's the only way i can escape oh no, oh, no. it's about freedom oh no like okay. a bird in a cage. <laughs> Gotta be free. Yeah. Free to fly the sky. I don't want to be a pixel rat anymore. <laughs> pixel rat in a cage. Oh no, his pose changed. Oh, oh no. He's getting no. serious. He's, yeah, that knife is pointing right, right at talk. you. It's a big knife, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I guess it makes it a little more dramatic, but they, all the, the big enemies are, or what are they big? Um, all the, 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 the bosses, ones, yeah. yeah, the major enemies are um, made in this style. And the normal enemies are pretty big too, but like the, the like major character bosses are all like way more, I don't wanna say fleshed out, because everything's pretty fleshed out in its own way, but they're like more anatomically correct, I suppose. Um, and drawn in this, this specific style that makes them different than the rest of the game. It's a pretty unique, I don't, well, I don't, it's not unique because I think other games have done this before too, but it's a, it's a interesting way to like portray the difference between like good guy, bad guy, I think, in a, in a game. No, it definitely gives it a little bit more personality. I think mm -hmm. that's what you're getting at is like it, yeah. it gives them more personality and a little bit more depth what? to just be a boss enemy that you attack. It's like, here he is, here's your best friend, and he's about to try and kill you. Yeah, but, you know, how you big that like, intimidating. The intention in his face. Yeah, um, yeah, it definitely gets more details as far as like what they what he's about. or maybe thinking <laughs> while they're fighting you. I feel I like I missed. How to use the ability? I oh feel like no, I messed it, messed it up, uh -oh. so uh, we're just gonna, you know, we keep charging, you. charging it up. But I feel like I didn't execute it like you were supposed to. Oops. But I have it back, so I have the ability you can do back. It. Your boosts, are, your boost points are all filled out. Uh oh, Sarah. Yeah, because it's like okay. You can boost your thief. Use skills your too. use your power. And then oh, your latent. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, it yeah. lets you. It tells you at the bottom what it does. Okay. Um, as I'm pointing like right at him. <laughs> um, it, if you use your latent ability, uh -huh. it, uh, are you, using that? you end it and then use as it again and it tells you at the bottom corner. Oh, attack twice yeah. in a single turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. So That's I what did, I was trying to get. I did to do use it. it. Okay. okay. Yeah, it just lets you attack twice in the same Oh, okay. Round. I didn't know if it was like, I was supposed to do more damage or something. No. Like, oh. I mean, technically, because if you're attacking twice, you're going to do more damage in a turn, but. Yeah. You can, I think you can boost your you can boost your healing ability if you use your boost points. Oh, is that how that I works? I believe so. Okay, we'll try it. We'll give it a try. But, yeah, you got the boost points. So. You're too oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Heals HP. Yeah. I can. Look at that. Look now, you're standing back up again, Sarah. I know. We're, we're trying. <laughs> I, I I always get scared of not having a lot more health though, because their yeah. super attacks kind what of uh, yeah get yeah. a little chunky. Oh, Gonna he's definitely myself. not pulling any punches. No, so he's he's determined. Yeah. I'm just gonna heal myself yeah. there, just to be on the safe side. So Erica, yes, question. yes. Ready? When you're going through performances like this, especially like you have to draw a lot of emotion. Do you have any tips for aspiring voice actors out there on how to get into a role like this? Oh, uh, my turn. I don't know. It's really hard because I just kind of like what? think about like, especially if I've I've done this. Because yeah, most characters you're gonna have probably done a little bit with them before you fully dive into like their emotional trauma. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, well, I guess in a in a sense, because like Throne is kind of already traumatized by the time we get to her, so you kind of have to like have those underlying feelings. Um, but it it's really just comes a lot from like just understanding the character and like um, it's a big collaboration between you and the director and the client a lot of the time what to kind of get that information so that you as an actor which you know you should already have the abilities to kind of like act i guess <laughs> to jump into that role yeah um uh, 
uh, not to discriminate against anybody, because obviously, you know, <laughs> some people kind of just come in and like maybe have like just inherent <laughs> abilities that don't like. For me, like I wasn't, you know, an actor. Right. Uh, like uh, I wasn't like a. I didn't do much acting before I, I kind of came into it. A lot of my stuff was like um, my experience was like just kind of self-taught and stuff. Yeah. Um, I eventually started taking more classes and stuff like that, so that helped a lot. But there's some things that like I. Um, get stuck on, you know? Um, but you just kind of have to, again, work with the director and the client and like trust your own abilities and just trust that like the people that hire you, they cast you for a reason, you know? They want you to do well. So you just kind of have to go for it, I think, um, and try to tap into that, whether it's, um, I'm not really a, um, like a method actor myself, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if that works for you, then, you know, tap into that. Or you know, think about you know something that happened to you that may be uh, similar, or uh, think of like another character that you know from media that you really enjoy that kind of has gone through a similar thing if you haven't yourself, and kind of like think about that and like how you know they went through or what you went through, and um, just like kind of do it. You know, like yeah, use totally. your experience, whether Drop it's your own experience, experience or someone else's yeah. experience, and and kind of like My tap turn. into that. Um, and it's not always easy. Um, for me, like sometimes, uh, if I don't get it right away, like usually doing another take or two, kind of like with direction, you know, if the director's not getting exactly what they want or thinks you can go further, like you just kind of, kind of gotta keep going for it and, and trust yourself and, and let yourself, um, let everything go and just kind of like do it, you know. Again, it's just hard to like not say anything other than just do it, um, cause it's, it's, it's hard to teach. It's yeah. hard to teach, you know, um, how to express your emotions, really. Because uh, if, if someone was like, you know, uh, act sad, like what would, like that means something different to everybody. Yeah. You know, so you kind of have to like use what you know about that emotion or what other people like tell you to act a little bit, like nuances and stuff like yeah. that. You, if, if you still need nuances, then you, um, you do them. Yeah, uh, I was like, I'm acting sad oh, right now. Look oh at no. Sarah. Oh no! I That's was relieved. <laughs> oh no! I was so relieved. I thought he, I thought he had me on a couple times. I was like, oh, I you held it. strong. You held strong. <laughs> we did it. But yeah, I was kind of just going like around and around yeah. in circles. But it's it's a lot of like you, you just uh, it's personal experiences really, um, or, or not even personal, but just like just what you know of like other characters and their experiences that you can draw from so yeah drawing from your emotions and your experience yeah. i think that's excellent advice yeah it really is because yeah like you were you're, you were saying it just <laughs> i'm now. glad it makes sense because like i have <laughs> such does, a hard time with like giving you know when people ask for advice i'm like oh, i don't know i just don't really think about it I just kind of like go for it <laughs> and do my best and if i'm not doing my best then someone's gonna tell me i you know that's you all i can say when people Everybody's ask doing their best when people <laughs> ask What's Erica doing? You just her, her best. best. That's <laughs> I think that's when we start telling people like, "How is Sarah today? Doing her best." Her best. <laughs> She's at her best. Exactly. But yeah, I'm glad that made sense. <laughs> I also yeah. think it's funny. I keep looking over at you, so I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, no, I keep looking over too. It's like it's easier than I don't know. I like trying not to focus too hard on like the game. So I'm like, I'm talking to people. Yeah, like <laughs> kind of be looking at them. You're but also your like emotional connection with me right exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah, I'm proud of you. During I did that whole it. Conversation, oh. like, look at you. Oh, I did it. I was I, oh, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Oh, you did it. You I, didn't disappoint Erica. So you proud. did not. Oh, lots so of, thank you. Thank you. Lots of resource hey, management. <laughs> this yeah, game, that's. Yeah, this game is not for the faint of heart. No, no, no. Sometimes <laughs> items are hard to come by. Yeah. Ooh, she's I'm not so a healer, so she can only do so much. Yeah. All right. Well, I do have one last question for you, Erica. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to jump right into it now that we're proud of Sarah for surviving. <laughs> she did it. So, Erica, you're also a writer and a director yourself. Mm. Do you wanna? Can we talk more about that? Do I want? Do you wanna? <laughs> can you? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't do as much of that as I do acting. Yeah. Um, and part of that is because I enjoy acting more than I like doing the other things. But I do dabble a little bit in the directing and the the, the ad adaptation, yeah. actually. I don't, like, make my own stories or anything. Like, I couldn't write a screenplay for you yeah. or anything. I know what 
Um, not no, for don't me. say that. Wait, wait, well, I'm sure you could. For you. I, I could. It wouldn't be good. But, um, I feel like I could do it. Yeah, what I do is uh, less of like actually considered writing and more of considered adaptation. So I basically take a translation for, say, an anime she left in, search in most her. cases. Um, and I will adapt that yeah, to lip flaps so that everything looks all nice. No, it actually looks like the characters are saying the words that they're saying. So I've done that for uh, a few animes here and there. Father and I've done that incredible. more. Yeah, <laughs> I try to, you know, expand my horizons. And just in case the acting thing doesn't work out at a point, you know, you've got other options. And that's how I like to live my life. <laughs> just on edge and, and doing your best. A lot doing of anxiety, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> overworking myself, as you know, people tend to. But um, yeah, I try not to take too much of like the directing and the, the adaptation on because it is like a lot of work. You kind of have to be like conscious for the whole project. Yeah. Whereas for oh, acting, it's man. like I go and do my part. Maybe I'll go in another few times and stuff. But like once you're done with that, like two to four hour session, you're just you get to go home and like maybe work on the next thing. Yeah. Um, did you complete the chapter? I did. did. I did. That's I keep clapping for yeah. Sarah when she does things because we're supporting around. Sarah. Yeah. Now we have a little lampy. Yeah, and this is, I think it's a bright lens, but you get to hear like the environmental track yeah, now. You get to hear that. It's yeah, really nice. Um, and they switch between day and night, which is great. But um, yes, uh, directing I've done a little bit here and there. Um, mostly, again, anime. I've done a few video games. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's fun. It's it's definitely challenging though to have to be um, basically the person putting together the entire puzzle as opposed to just a puzzle piece. Just a piece. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a little a lot for my uh, me being the anxious person that I am uh, and very critical person that I am because I'm like oh I have to like figure out how this person fits in with this role. Uh, when they're talking to this person and then with this person, then you have to like know the entire story of something. Um, so it's a lot of work. Um, so I don't do it too often. Uh, I guess my Sarah, are you just really switching bad. between day and night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to do it. Yeah, yeah. You, are, you, ha you have to complete chapter one and then you can oh. do it. So I'm just switching. I'm, okay. I'm just, you know, showing off the day and the night cycle That's of the so game. Cool. You know? She's distracting me, Erica. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't trying like, to Wait a minute. What is you? going on? <laughs> my bad, my bad. I was trying oh to, my you know. Gosh. I didn't wow, know it's if we wanted magical. To, you know, I didn't know if we wanted to go further into the game, right? Because we finished chapter one, so it's kind of like, did. oh, I'm that just gonna a lot. It's a lot for chapter. It's a that heavy was chapter a one. Chapter. That was a lot of content. But it sounds like there's a lot more to come. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. As a you lot, progress a lot. through the game. Yeah, because you have to find other characters yeah. and like, go throughout the other chapters and. I do oh want to close gosh, off that though with no. just saying, like, Dang be it. proud of you are oh, multifaceted. No, I, I found a rat king. <laughs> I found the rat king. <laughs> but yes, Erica, please be proud. You are multifaceted. Yes. That is the way that you should Thank phrase you. it. You yeah, that's definitely person. a nicer way to. I'm not as nice to myself <laughs> as you are to me. So <laughs> I'll let you say the nice things so I don't seem like an egotistical maniac. Oh. Oh. Megan's like the hype man that you oh. want on like yes. your side to like hype yourself up. Oh, hype I'm so glad. I mean, both you. You hype me up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, Megan's I'm my glad to have Sarah, my two Sarah hype men yeah. uh, next to me. Yeah, we're so. surrounding you on the stream my right two now. Hype yeah. You're hyping you oh, on no. the side. Status effects. I, I, I uh -oh. ain't nobody got time for that. Poison, no. I can't believe, though, that just coming to a close here, we've been betrayed by Pixel Rat. Yeah, Pixel that is what this, this is. is. Yeah, I think it's not the same Pixel Rat. We hyped Pixel Rat. This that's whole not time. my Pixel Rat. Yeah, that's no. not my Pixel Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my Pixel Rat. <laughs> Yeah, I was running in circles too much, uh, and then Pixel Rat attacked. Yeah, <laughs> circles at night. Like so maybe I should trade. run in circles. I'll go save. I think that sounds safer. Yeah, I think so. Because I think, yeah, Sarah, as you said, all good things must eventually come to an end. And I think ending chapter one was probably a good place for us to. Yes. We've got to leave some so. mystery and intrigue to the rest of the game for yeah, people. Yeah, you got to buy the game. Pick it up and play this game and find That's out right. what happens to yeah. Dear Drone. And, and Pixel and Rat. And Pixel characters. Rat. <laughs> there, there are seven other characters you can also play as. Throne is like, obviously. Yeah, the you're choice. not biased not at all. Biased. No. Not biased. Opinion. <laughs> um, I know a lot of other people that also like Throne. So it's not just me. Um, but speaking from my point of view, <laughs> I do think she's the best one to start off with. Um, and then you can pick up all the other characters later, and it's just like, you know, you picked up anybody first, but yeah. at least you have thrown in your party throughout the entire thing. Yeah, no, we've given yeah. you this That's introduction. True. We've given you this yeah. insight into Throne's world. This platform. With Throne herself, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My 
turn the propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> and Pixel Rat. Her new That's companion, right. Pixel Rat. Pixel Rat. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior, Pixel Rat. <laughs> But anyways, everybody, as we said, all good things must come to an end, unfortunately. So I think this is a good place to wrap up. And before we do, I definitely want to give shout outs where appropriate. So we have to, of course, thank our wonderful friends in Tokyo who helped make this happen, the marketing team. We have to thank our co-host here, Sarah, for joining us today. Thank you for we having gotta, me. Yeah, of course. We got to thank our producer, Tommy, for helping us on yeah, the back end Tommy. today. And Erica, please, please clap yeah, for Erica, yeah. our, our star guest here, for joining us on this wonderful stream. So yeah. I hope that you all get a chance to pick up this game and have fun with it and explore yeah. a little bit more of what those details are hidden within this little gem of a title. Yeah. But all right, I think we're all looking at me. Don't yeah, look yeah, at me. Yeah, Megan, you're the you're the host, <laughs> the host with the most, the host with the most. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>